you guys and welcome back to another video today i'm not sure what we're gonna be doing but i know that we're gonna open an amazon package today as promised i finally got some of the plant stuff for for my monstera and it needs it really bad because i don't know if y'all can see it back there but it's suffering the leaves literally turned yellow and I watered it, I promise. I don't know what's going on. I know that sometimes it's trauma whenever you change their pot because it's a new environment, but I really hope it survives because it was too expensive. I only got three things. Technically, only two out of those three things are for my plant. So I got this. This is the plant food for my Monstera. And then I have some moss poles that I'm gonna put to support it. I want to believe that that's part of the reason why it's not doing so well because it has no support, but there could be several things wrong with it. So let's try to bring it back to life with this plant food. The last thing that I got was these ear wipes for a spider. I talked to the vet. She believes she doesn't have an ear infection, but I'm with her every day. And what she's scratching, she's scratching to her ear. So I know my dog better than they know my dog. So... I got her some ear wipes to clean her ears and she does have ear medication as well so because it comes with aloe vera and eucalyptus so I'm gonna give this to Spider because she loves playing with random stuff. Spider look! Look! What is that? Oh and it also has little ropes too so you can tie it. You get two with this one. Bent. so i'm unbending it as you guys can see and you can do any ways you guys want to do it i've seen people do a squiggly one or you can do it straight however you want to do it i'm going to do it straight this is right here oh right there i'm gonna wrap the string around the moss pole first one time and then i'm gonna like act like i'm about to tie the knot on the boss pole and I'm not going to tie it I'm going to actually grab onto the node of it so I'm gonna go lower you guys don't come here to learn from me okay I'm still learning myself I'm gonna repeat this step for the rest of these I know it may not look like much of a difference I decided I am going to clean her ears now because why not now stop moving You do not like that. Spider, I have to get the stuff. The gunk out of ears. <laughs> Stop. Don't fight me on this. I'm cleaning your ears. Your ears are dusty. If they had Q-tips, we would use Q-tips, but you're not a regular. You're special, right? Hey! Just let me do this. Shh. Shh. Hey. Hey. Stop. Be nice. Be nice. See, that's one ear, that's one ear, that's the right ear. Can we do this peacefully, please? Do you see how you can hear better? All right, there you go, we're done, we're done. There's a lot of very thick chunks, but I can't get to them because I don't wanna hurt her. You know, ears for me are already sensitive, so I can't imagine what her little ears feel like, so. That's good enough for me. I got a lot of dirt out of there. You did good! Are you here, man? So whenever I tell you to come in the house, are you gonna come? Huh? Huh? Good girl. We are in the gaming room, and I'm gonna start taking all my purses back to my room. Surely, soon, I will be getting rid of this stand, but for right now, we're leaving it here, but I wanna just put all my purses back in my room. And then the rest that's down there, it's kind of just stuff that we said we were gonna do, but haven't got around to it yet. So I have this little lamp from Target that I have put at my job, but I'm bringing it back here because I wanted to, and I wanna see if I can make this fit by the entrance on the console table. I don't know where I could exactly make this work. Maybe right here. No. This doesn't work because the table is way too big for this little lamp, so I think this clock will make a great addition, but I don't know where I'm going to put it. Let me know if 
the clock looks good right there i moved a lot of stuff around i pushed that vase all the way down i don't know why i didn't do that i was hoping i could put something at the end but it didn't happen that way so i pushed it down pushed everything down basically i added this light right there i was thinking maybe i should buy a little light for the entrance but figured i already have this one and it's pretty and it smells so and i feel like it's all tied in together looks really good me and spider are gonna relax for the rest of the day and i'm trying to decide what movie we should watch should i watch postgrad or marley and me i don't want to cry <laughs> i don't want to cry I'm telling you all all dog movies make me cry that is why hachi is my favorite movie i made a list of all the movies i want to watch so this is just some of them but today i'm like should i watch postgrad or marley and me you ready for the movie She's like, sure, I'm gonna be sleeping the whole time. Made it to Lowe's. I'm here to pick up neem oil for my monster. I'm telling you guys, I'm on a mission to save it. But I've seen a couple videos of people saying, I never thought about this before, but basically getting free plants where you can just see if there's any, like any leaves or anything that fell off a plant and you grab it and it's basically free. <laughs> Obviously you won't, you don't want to pick it. It's whatever you see that's fallen. I don't see anything. Oh, there's that one, but that one looks pretty dead. But that's what I'm talking about, like the free plants. You grab something like that and you take it home, put in some water. This is what we call shopping on a budget. <laughs> Let's see if we find any. If we can find one of these on the, oh, there's that one. But I don't know if this one can be saved. Can it? Mm-mm, no, that's dead. What about this one? This one, does this one have potential? I feel like it might, but I don't know. We have made our way inside, and uh, so far I found two big branches and then that little flower. So, doing good so far. Oh my god, guys, I did not record the rest because I was stuffing my bag with so much of the stuff that I found on the floor. Look at this big leaf! Oh my god! Now, do I know what everything is? No, but I took a picture of everything that I did, I was able to identify. I have a bunch of those, I got two of these. I got one of these. Oh my, look at this leaf. Okay, so the real reason why I, why I went to Lowe's was to get this neem oil. So that's supposed to be good for Monstera's. I don't know if it's good for other plants. Made it to Target. I guess they're starting to put the fall stuff on sale. 50% off, that's pretty good. From Target, I got this. I've never used this, but I'm using this for the bottle. This is why I got this. So we're gonna put this whole mist in here. And of course I'm gonna label it because I'm gonna forget, but I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna repurpose this bottle for my Monstera. I wanted to show you guys how the Monstera is looking. It's been moving a lot. So these are all the plants that I was able to get that I found on the floor. 
That one was a major find. I got three. If you guys can't see, it's three. Then we have that one. Then I have that big leaf right there, and then there's a little one in the water. That little one in the water, I don't, it doesn't have any roots, so I don't know if it'll survive or not. I know you're not supposed to put the leaf in the water. It's supposed to be just the root, but for example, that right there, that one, you really can't. It's impossible, so we'll see if it works, if it doesn't. And I got creative, by the way. I used a shot glass, okay? I don't really have anything on hand. And then my cup for water. Randomly started a greenhouse, what the heck. But before it gets too late, I wanted to spray the neem oil on her. I'm gonna remove this sticker that says bathroom cleaner. Don't wanna get things confused around here. Then I have this one, I'm gonna remove this. That's the Clorox, and this is what we're gonna use for the Monstera. I like this because of the spritzer, that's why I wanted to change it. Wash the bottle a couple of times, clear the spritzer to get rid of all of that clean solution. And now, let me show you how strong this mister is. It is amazing. And the reason why I got this instead of buying a new one is because all of the spritzers that are this good were $10 one. This is literally $6 and you get cleaning solution. And it actually smelled really good. So this is just water in here, by the way. So, but let, look, look, just pay attention to the spritzer. Oh my God, like y'all see how satisfying that is? This is very strong. And that is all we do for now. We're gonna see the progress. I really hope she makes it through. I don't know if it's because she's going into shock from the repotting or I'm doing something wrong. Please let me know guys before it's too late. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, I got this. This is a cake topper. You're supposed to get the bottom part of it. I didn't because I'm never gonna use this for a cake topper, but I got this as a bottom feeder. It's, it was a dollar and 25 a, a dollar tree, so I figured I'd give it a try. While I have you here, I wanted to show you how I make my banana smoothie shake. I don't know, but one of those. I'm gonna use two bananas, and I'm gonna cut them up. You really don't have to, but it just makes it easier to blend. Then, really, I just kind of wing it with the milk. It's all up to you, but... I just kind of do however much I want to drink, if that makes sense. Then I get some cinnamon and some sugar. Everything is up to you. However much you want to put is up to you. Listen, I go crazy with my cinnamon. I have fun with it. The more cinnamon, the better. And I'm going to add some sugar. I also add a lot of sugar. I know that might not be this healthiest shake, but I never said it was healthy. Just said it was yummy. You can also add ice to this depending on what kind of drink you want to do. So yeah, go crazy. I'm gonna do smoothie. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If I don't like it, I'm gonna add whatever more I need. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, y'all see that? That's perfect. It just needs to be blended more. See, simple, quick, and a little different. You know, sometimes you gotta do something a little more different. We always do the same thing over and over. Hello, you guys. So we are actually on our way out to a dinner. This is my little OOTD. A little nervous because I'm not used to wearing fits like this. I'll see you guys at the restaurant. We made it. I don't know where we are, but somewhere in the woodlands. Really nice out here. Reminds me of LC. All right, we're here. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.
Thank you.